Welcome back to Skills for Life and we're here in Sunny Peebles once again in my garden and we're filming another little episode for you, building on the skills that we've already been introducing you to. It's a beautiful day and there's plenty of background noise here. My neighbours are having a great time. I think they're having a water fight in the garden. So that's lovely to hear, certainly at the moment uh, with the challenges we've got. Hearing some laughter is fantastic. Anyway, I hope it doesn't distract too much. A couple of days ago, I set you a challenge. I asked you to do something that you would like to improve upon. I chose juggling. So I've been practicing my juggling. I knew what I was going to do. I, I had some motivation. I knew why I was going to do it. I also knew how I was going to do it. And my friend Mathilde, who's staying with us just now, uh, she has been uh, stuck here in Scotland, couldn't get back to France, and she's been living with us, which is wonderful because she's really good at juggling. So I have been asking for some lessons. I've been learning using YouTube and I have been visualising my success. I've been imagining what the success looks like and what the skill looks like. I've been doing that at quiet times in my day, uh, just to see if it improves my performance. I've heard that it's really good for professional golfers and tennis players, and I've heard downhill skiers doing it. So for me and my juggling, I think it might work. Measuring my success, well, I'm a long way off it, but I'm getting there. Daily practice is working. So I hope that you're developing the skill that you set for yourself. If you haven't got started on it yet, have a go today. Give yourself a break. There's loads going on just now, and if you haven't started, that's okay, but let's try and do something really positive and share that skill. My plan is to then teach my son how to juggle. That'll be interesting. I'll let you know how that goes. Today's challenge is all about kindness. Until very recently, I didn't realise that kindness has a physiological effect on your body. I get that being kind is good for society and it's good for um, us all living together in, in a cooperative way, that we're interdependent and that being uh, kind to somebody and compassionate um, is an important part of that. But I just didn't realise the benefit of it from a scientific point of view for the biology of my body. So what I'd like you to do after this little film is do a little bit of research for me, please. I want you to look up a couple of people and you can expand on that. The first person is the Scottish comedian Susan Calman. She's done some amazing work on random acts of kindness. And in her book, Bring the Sunshine, which I read a couple of years ago, um, she encourages us all to just have these random acts of kindness to support people that we live with and the wider community. There's another fellow Scottish guy, uh, again, uh, Dr David Hamilton. Um, and I'm going to pop these links at the end of this film for you. Um, it's his work that I've looked at recently and a cracking little free course that you can do. And it just explains why happiness is really good for the physiology of your body, of your, your heart, your brain. Uh, so not only does it make us feel good, but if we do it with the right reasons, if we're sincere about our acts of kindness, then um, it affects our biology in a really positive way. So I'd like to have a look at that. Now, if you're doing your volunteering, I would love you to share that knowledge with somebody in your household. Just give them a little heads up on it and say, I want to talk to you about kindness and why it's good for us. I want you to choose an act of kindness two or three times a day. Once a day would be good. So I'm going to give you an example of what I did yesterday. Um, Mathilde's father, who lives in France, he has never been able to make scones before. Now I pride myself on being able to make a reasonable set of scones. So I made a little film so that he could learn how to make scones and I sent it across to him. Now I hope that he is then successful in his scone making, but more than that, I hope he realised that, um, that it was a, a wee act of kindness, that I, I was doing something because actually I'm, I care about uh, him and his happiness. I've never met him, but I still care about him and his happiness. So there are a number of things that we can do each day that help us to be a wee bit kinder. 
and I want you to note those down um, and see how you get on. And we'll report back in next week. Anyway, I'm off for a bike ride for my daily exercise and uh, at the moment, in the middle of uh, the, the lockdown, we are trying really hard, I know, to stay on track with our positivity while at the same time totally appreciating that for some people this is a really difficult time. If it's a really difficult time for you, then I hope that these little films are set in that context, that you do the best that you can do in the conditions that you're in but just keep now. keep well, keep safe, and we'll speak to you next week.